Hi, this is Mark Dame with Davis Tech. Uh, we're going to do a little synopsis on manual programming and what you need in there. Okay, with manual programming, what we'll want to do is basically you have a blueprint. You're going to kind of follow that blueprint. We're going to do something really simple. It's a rectangle. We're going to have this rectangle be three by two. So basically we have a rectangle that comes across, goes down, goes over, goes up. This distance from here to here is going to be three inches. And this distance from here to here is going to be two inches. Fairly simple block. Now when you start your program, you're thinking, okay, I have a block. I want a cutter to go around this part like this, but I don't want to take into consideration the radius of the cutter. I want to, I might be using a half inch. I might be using a three eighths. I might be using a quarter inch. So, and it really doesn't matter if you're going to use cutter comp, which we're going to, but we're going to get into that whole part there to start off. We're going to start our program with a percent symbol. And then we give it a program uh, number. We'll just call this program. Uh, and this will be the only time you use the letter O. And we're going to call this program 01. Then the very next thing, we're going to put in a safety line. The safety line is just like when you're getting in a car. You never check your tire pressure, your oil pressure, or things of that nature. And when we start our program, we don't want to make sure, well, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have everything the way it should be. So we're going to write a G90, make sure it's in absolute mode. G80, G49, G40, G20, and G17. This is just a safety line. Do you need to know what all this means? No. And if I skip some of them, would it matter? No. But sooner or later, it's going to bite you if you don't have it in there. It's like driving a car and then all of a sudden running out of gas because you didn't check. This is our check here. G90 is absolute mode. Cancels, can cycles, height offset cancel, cutter comp cancel. We're working in the inch mode and we're working in the XY plane. That's what all that means right there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call it my tool. It might be a half inch tool or a three eighths tool or a quarter inch tool. So in this case, we're just going to call it tool one. That calls up the tool. M6 means make sure it's in the holder. So now we have our tool and our the tool in the spindle. The next thing we want to do is call up a spindle speed. So let's say I want S of 3000 RPM. So there's my spindle speed of 3000. I want to turn it on clockwise. To turn it on clockwise, it's M3. Next thing I want to do is I want to call up my work coordinate system. Now work coordinate system you have, it's like a house number. Like if I go to uh, my friend's house, he gives me his address. This is the address. So now I know where to start and where to go to. And on CNC machines, you have a home position and you have a work position. That work position, we usually call that G54. There's G54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. And then there's a bunch of other ones, but those are the most common ones. So we're gonna say G54, and then we're gonna give it an X and a Y location. Now in this part, when we're looking at our part, we might call this point right here x0, y0, this, this corner right here. So in this case, I might want to start, come over here, and I'm going to move into that point right there. So I'm going to be x negative 1 and y positive 1. So x over here, I'm going to put negative 1 inch, and I'm going to put y of 1 inch. Okay, that's a negative there. And so my tool would go right here. Then I want to make it come down to the top of the part. Let's say I want to stop one inch above the part. 
to do that, I'm going to put in a G43. I'm going to call off a height offset because I might have 10 tools and each tool is going to have a different height offset. In this particular case, if it's tool one, I want to use height offset one. So that's H1. I want to wrap it and we're going to say the top of the part is Z0. As we go down into the part, that would be a negative Z. Anything above it is a positive Z. In most instances, you're going to have a situation where the top of the part is Z0, but is it always the top of the part? No. Depends on the part you're working with, who's programmed it, things of that nature. But in this particular case, we're going to say it's the top of the part is Z0. So I want to wrap it to Z of one inch above the part. Now, when you run the program and you're just starting, you might run it in single block. Single block will do one line of code at a time. So it would read this whole thing and stop until you hit cycle start. Then it would read this and then execute it and then stop. And then it would turn on the spindle and stop because we're in single block. So let's just say we're in single block. Then when it goes here to this X1 and Y1 with G54, it's going to go to this location. Now, when you set your G54, that's on the machine. It's a certain location on the machine that you're going to set and put in the machine for where this is located. But as soon as you put that information in there, when it reads G54, it's like a map. It knows where to go in relationship to our G54. And we're at negative one and positive one up. So this is kind of, if I'm doing uh, an operation, I might have five different tools. For every tool that I use, I am basically gonna rewrite this every time. So if I'm using tool two, the only thing that changes is T2 and right here, H2. I might have a different spindle speed also. So that might change, but everything remains the same in that respect. If I'm running tool five, then this is gonna become T5. My spindle speed might change according to the size of the tool. And then over here, instead of H1, it's gonna say H5. So this is kind of the beginning of your program. The rest of the program is gonna be described right here, cutting this part out. Let's say in this particular case, we're gonna go down a half inch deep into the part when we cut it out, okay? So to do that, our next move is just a G01, which is a linear move. And we're gonna to go to Z negative 0.5 at a feed rate let's say of 25 inches a minute. Okay. Now what that's going to do is after our tool goes to this location, which is our X of negative one and Y of positive one, it's going to be one inch above the part. And then it's going to feed down into the down below the part of a half inch because that's what we put there. Then our next move is to, let's say, this point right here. To do that, I want to go to X0, Y0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, I'm already in G01, which is a modal mode. And I'm going to go to X0, Y0. I'm going to put in a G41, which is a cutter comp. And the cutter comp I'm going to use is diameter offset one because it's tool number one and D and one and H and one all kind of describe the, what tool we're using. And when we do the G41 with the D1 and the X0 and the Y0, what's going to happen, it's going to read whatever we put in the controls on the machine. Let's say it's a half inch tool. So it will tell the control that we have a half inch tool. So where's this tool gonna stop? It's actually gonna stop right there. When it stops right there, what's gonna happen next? It's gonna say, look at the controls with the G41 and the D1. 
know that it, the size tool is a half inch, but let's say when I went to run this part, I only had a three eighths tool and not a half inch. Well, it doesn't matter because when I put in the controls, I'm gonna put a three eighths tool so it will know what size of this tool is. My next move, we'll just put those right here, is gonna to be to this point right here. That's three inches over. So after my G41, my X0, Y0, D1, basically my tool stops here. With cutter comp, it'd stop a little bit higher, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. And you don't have to worry about it because we activate that and it knows what size tool it is. So our next move is three inches over. So that's gonna be X of 3.0. Y, we don't have to change because Y is still at zero, but we could write it in if we wanted to. So it's right here, but how deep is it? Well, it's a half inch down because right here we told it's a half inch down into the part. So it's fed down into the part a half inch, moved to our X zero, Y zero. Now I've moved to X zero or X three Y of zero. My next move is right here. That's gonna be X. It's still at three inches over, but now it's at Y negative two point. Because if we're calling that zero, zero, anything above it is positive, anything below it is negative. We've said that this is a negative right there. Our next move is to this point right here, which is gonna be X of zero and Y of negative 2.0. Do we have to write this again? No, we don't. It's already there. So that gets me to this point right here. My next move is to X of zero and Y of zero. Now I've just gone around the entire part. My next move I'm gonna make, I'm gonna say rapid G zero zero to Z of let's say one inch above the part. And then I'm gonna cancel my cutter comp. I activate it with the G41 right here. And I'm gonna deactivate it because after I've come to that point, I'm gonna lift up and you need to deactivate it. So I'm just gonna to move to let's say Y or X of one, we'll say that's a Y of one inch in the positive with a G40. Now I've canceled my cutter comp and I wanna send it home or change tools or something of that nature. And I'm gonna put in a G53 and a Z0. And then my last line will be M30. End of program, restart. You just made a simple program with one tool to cut around the outside of a part that's a three inch by two inch using cutter comp. We'll demonstrate this on the machine here in a minute. Okay, this is the program that we just wrote on the whiteboard. You can kind of see how it all looks. This is program 01. And then we have our safety line. We call up our tool, we turn on our spindle. We call off our work offset, go to a position, wrap it to one inch above the part. Then we're gonna feed down at 25 inches a minute to a negative half inch. Then we're gonna activate our cutter comp. And then we're gonna do our XY moves, finish up, lift up the tool and go home. So when we're in the graphics, graphics mode, right here, I'm gonna put it in single block. So you'll see this thing says single block and it will execute one line at a time. So here we go. There it rapids to negative one and positive one using work coordinate G54 that you can see there. Its next move is to one inch above the part, which is a height offset. Now we're gonna feed down to a negative half inch. Then our first move is to X zero, Y zero. Our next move to three inches over, two inches down, over, up, lift up the tool, and we're through. M30, rewind, go to the beginning of the program.